The dawn of Judgment Day would be the day a white knight riding a white horse spreads diseases and plagues all across the world. Then, after him, a knight in a red fiery cape riding a red horse would appear. The Red Rider would cause suspicion among humanity. He would make humans turn against each other, igniting the spark of war. The Black Rider would come next, with his dark horse and a pair of scales in hand. He would spread famine across the land. And finally, the Death Knight, the symbol of death itself, would appear as just a skinny old man on a pale horse. But when death arrived, the death of humanity would begin. The bell of the apocalypse would be rung. Gemma and Sam were terrified when they heard this. They only knew the White Rider, the one who was wreaking havoc all over the land. They didn't know after the White Rider brought his plagues, there would be famine, war, and death still yet to come. We can't just stand by and do nothing, Sam yelled angrily. No, we can't, said Gemma. Her mind was still on the four horsemen, and also the tale of how the White Rider once took her mother away. Her mother wasn't in this castle. Then where was she? Was she still alive? Gemma worried. Humans can commit sins, but they can also do good deeds. Humanity cannot be destroyed. God created day and night, good and evil. Mankind was his creation. We cannot let humanity disappear into the darkness of the night. James looked at his three companions, his voice lowered, determined and steady. The four left the White Rider's castle. When they stepped into the city, a chaotic scene left them speechless. The goods in the stores were all gone. People fought each other to stash food and toilet paper. Lines and lines of homeless tucked themselves into cardboard huts, hoping to survive the cold night. On the sidewalk, a homeless man was begging for money and food, but his bowl was empty. Everyone was walking away from him. No one even glanced in his direction. Mister, I am starving. Can you please spare me a nickel? A skinny young boy walked near the homeless man and asked. He gazed at the child, hesitated for just a moment, then pulled out a piece of bread and a one dollar bill. Take this, it's all I have. The child took the bread and gnawed on it instantly. Sam turned to Gemma. There it is. The rich were too busy hoarding their food while the poor at least have the decency to share. Gemma nodded. Her eyes encouraged Sam. Let's go help them. Sam slowly walked towards them and placed into the bowl of the homeless man a gold bar the size of her hand. The homeless man looked at her. He was shocked, speechless. This is for you, and please, Help another, too. Th thank you, he mumbled, still filled with shock. That was the reality of the big cities. The more luxury and wealth shown on the outside, the more suffering and poverty was hidden on the inside. Subscribe now to my novels to enjoy a journey of the best mystical, magical, and mysterious stories.